A good salad will fill you up. Hey boos, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today y'all are in for a treat because this is like really my very first full blown outside of a short video showing you guys one of my favorite salads. Now, I'm not the healthiest person now, but I do feel like there needs to be more representation on eating healthier. So today, I'm really just going to take you guys through the step-by-step -step process of one of my favorite salads. Everybody in my family even loves it. It's really simple. You can get all of these ingredients at any store. And yeah, one thing I'm overseeing is the overhype of the fried henny, truffle butter, lemon pepper stuff, yam, and collard green fried chicken wings. Oh, hell no. I just feel like there are other things to eat. And if you need 37 seasonings in order to find something tasteful, you might need to do a detox. This would inspire myself and others to eat more healthier options when you can. Because I do like to eat what I want to eat, but I feel like during the week or most of the time, I'm going to try to opt for something fresh, not overly processed. I feel like a salad, a good salad will fill you up, okay? I'm not talking about a side salad. Get you a big old bowl like this. You don't have to eat it in one day. You can kind of nibble on it, drink you a bottle of water, have some bread with it if you want to, but it can and it will fill you up. Don't let the people fool you. And you don't honestly need meat with your salad. I have my days where I don't eat any fish. Most of the days I try to eat fully vegetarian. That's because I was full blown vegetarian for three years from 2018 to about 2021. I was full blown vegetarian, no fish, no nothing. Then, you know, I kept watching my sister eating those crab bags and I just indulged, y'all. It was the crab bags that really took me off the path of being fully vegetarian. I do want to revert back to being vegetarian. I'm just gonna kinda like not force it though. I'm just gonna make sure most of my meals are highly vegetarian. I'm not really trying to eat a lot of fake meats either because you might as well just eat the meat to be honest. Let's get into one of my favorite salads to eat. All you need is some baby arugula. We have this here. Now I have already cleaned my baby arugula and the rest of my vegetables. I use this organic fruit and vegetable spray. This is at Sprouts, but you can kind of use just vinegar and water if you want to. It's your world, baby. We're all just living in it. I'm gonna be using a red and a yellow pepper just because the green ones today when I was in the store, they were just looking like, they was looking sickly. And I don't, I, this might be something I might need to get diagnosed, but I don't like ugly fruit and vegetables. It makes me itch. I also don't like beet, I don't like looking at honeycomb. It's like little holes and like dots everywhere. I, I can't get jiggy with it. So yeah, it's a no for me. You wanna get one organic cucumber. Yes, organic, because some of y'all ain't eating cucumbers. I don't know what y'all eating. <laughs> I like to use a red onion. However, you can use whatever onion you want. I just prefer these. I'm also going to slightly roast some of these cherry tomatoes because I love cherry tomatoes, just not in its natural state. I'm going to put a little heat on them with a little avocado oil. Like I said, I'm not a, a big health freak. We all got to go out of here one way or the other. But I'm, you know, I'm really trying to get better with the way I eat and what I consume on the internet too because the internet will make you feel like you got to deep fry your honey bun. Stop it. Get some help. At some point, y'all got to realize we're doing this to ourselves if we continue to just eat like this. Let's get into this. Oh, y'all, I want to show y'all what I found in Sprouts because I had saw this lady on TikTok. She was making her jarred pickled vegetables and I found some in Sprouts, y'all, and they are so good. Let me see if I can focus the camera. So, yeah, this is the brand. It is Jeff's Garden. It is literally like cauliflower, peppers, carrots. Um, yeah, it's so good. Y'all gotta try it. I love, I'm a pickle girl. Let me add that. I'm really a pickle girl. Like, I'll eat anything pickled. Also have artichoke quarters. This will be my first time trying it with this, but I definitely want to try to add more flavors to my salads. That's another reason why I'm adding that. But y'all, I really and truly love sushi ginger. I put this in like all my salads when I'm cooking. I also have some salted sunflower seeds. I'm just gonna toss a little bit of that up there one thing about me i love a finely cut salad like i don't like big chunks of anything i like to really cut it up as much as possible because when you consume it you can either eat it as is you can eat it with like a little chip there's so many ways to eat finely cut salads y'all really got to get into it it's just 
you would digest it better too when you cut it up finely especially if you're eating like kale collards because they tried to come for me when i said y'all could eat raw collard greens and raw kale like what do y'all think people were doing before modern civilization like i don't understand why people feel like you have to deep fry everything you don't gotta deep fry your collards baby <laughs> got he <laughs> got he <laughs> Anyway, I'm just gonna take the cherry tomatoes off of the stem, you know, and you don't have to use this many. I like to be full off of my salad, so I'm basically gonna eat as many vegetables as possible. Like, I like my salads thick, okay? Double up on the veggies if you can. Before I put these on the stove, I'm gonna just go ahead and cut up my cucumber. I have already cleaned all my vegetables, y'all. Don't come for me. And don't judge the way I'm cutting y'all. I'm not a chef. I don't know, I'm kind of scared. There you go. I'm just a girl who likes to eat. Let's go for this. Now y'all, we are just gonna cut up some of the artichoke quarters. This is my favorite part. This gives it more of a zest, in my opinion. Here are the roasted cherry tomatoes, y'all. We're really just gonna toss this right on top. I do want it to cool down a little bit because I do not like a hot salad. Then, of course, y'all know I love ginger, so I'm just gonna add you know, a couple of strands in there. Now don't judge me, but I like to freestyle my dressing. I'm not a ranch dressing type of girl. I'm more of a vinaigrette. Then I'm just gonna put the juice of a one whole lemon. Lemon squeezer, but... I guess I'll pour the seeds out later. Now I do season my salad, y'all, so we're just gonna do like, gonna add some of the pepper, add some balsamic vinegar, y'all. So good. Y'all also gonna add some honey. This is the blueberry honey, but you can't really taste the blueberry, but I like it. I don't really measure, okay? <laughs> if you wanna measure, you can, but I don't. If it's too sweet, I'll just add more in ingredients and go from there. You can never have too much dressing. I typically use the same dressing. Let's taste now that the honey was added. I love, oh yes. All right, y'all, now for the fun part. Right now, all we have is all of our ingredients that I cut up inside of here. We're just gonna move it around because we're about to season this bad boy, okay? Salt and pepper my ass. <laughs> add some smoked paprika. Then we're gonna add some lemon pepper. I would prefer getting the lemon pepper that does not have salt. Also, I'm not eating meat with this, but I always like to season my salads with like a chicken seasoning, just because I like to imagine, okay? And if you like yours a little spicy, add some crushed red pepper. Now we're gonna add our cherry tomatoes on top. And then we're just gonna toss this all around. Now I usually would go through and cut up my baby arugula, but for the sake of this video, this will do. I can always cut it up as I'm eating. When I tell y'all this is so bomb, like y'all really gotta try it. I feel like people feel like you gotta be stuffed every time you eat a meal. And that's, you really not supposed to be stuffed. All right, y'all, now we're gonna pour our little bit of dressing all over this. The dressing is so bomb, y'all, you gotta try it. 
Sunflower seeds are optional, but I love adding it to it because it gives it that extra oomph. Imagine this in a wrap, y'all. Damn, little lady. You sure can't put it away. <laughs> so bomb, y'all. If you try this, let me know.